<laughs> For the first time since May 15th, that's 77 days ago, that's 1,848 hours ago, that's 110,888 minutes ago, the boys are back together! <laughs> My oh my guy. God, bro. My guy. You good? I'm here. Hey, Jeez. how's it going? I'm good, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah. I've enjoyed filming with the other boys. Oh, I can imagine. I cannot lie. So, uh, big up Specs, Scribs, Miles. Miles. Yeah. All of the boys, Adam McCola, come through, Don Straps, all of the boys that come through. All the through. man, them. But, yes. Come on, man. We started this, innit? Hey, we started we're here. this. And we're here. Bro, I enjoyed watching you away. Yeah. It was, it was almost like. My son, but not my son, because I don't want to disrespect it. It's an equal thing and we help each other and all of that. Mm. But if that's how a dad would feel, I think that's how he would feel seeing you away with the England boys. How did it how did it how did it go and how did you feel? Sorry, my hay fever. No, 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 it's my hay fever, man. It's my hay fever, bro. But you was a big England fan before you went away, but surely going away with the England team must have made you more of a supporter. Oh, hundred percent. Like just you get this newfound respect for the players, seeing how they work, seeing how they get along, just, you really do become invested in it. And seeing the support from back home, did you feel that? Because it was crazy. Mate, yeah. the only regret, and it sounds crazy to say that about the whole thing, is that I couldn't be in two places at once. Yeah. Because as much as I was there, and I was loving the World Cup, and being around these guys, I wanted to be, because we've never really been this good in a World Cup in my lifetime. It's like, I saw the scenes, we all saw the scenes. And it's like, I wanted to be a part of it. I wanted to so be in the street with the a flag. The players saw, they were seeing They saw that, everything. Bro. Was that getting them gas? You think that the, the, the love back home, the love around the world? 100%, yeah. 100%, the scenes, like you saw the scenes, like people stopping cars, which by the way, I wouldn't condone, but mm -hmm. like you saw it, the flags, the pubs, just people going mental, like that feel good factor. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be in that. I wanted to be with my boys, having pints, and just enjoying it back home. And, and, and I got messages from all my friends, yep. family, saying how much of a feel-good factor there was. Bro, it was it was an amazing opportunity. Um, I'm humbled that I was involved in it, but I miss Take A Bow, man. Oh, mate, it's been, after, it's been even great. after doing all that with all these players, I missed being here with you. I miss just talking about football. We have been having fun. Yeah. Um, and obviously you've been recording with England and all of that. <laughs> England. Um, we're filthy here. Yeah, we're well, not that filthy, obviously, not, not but, really. but we're more filthy, filthy than what you've been, so I'm bringing you to the gutter today. Oh, you're bro. bringing me back yeah. now? I don't want to be like, oh, wow, sitting on the fence, because remember I used to sit on the fence? No, no, I'll be yeah. real, I'll be real. I'll be real, the okay. fence okay. Okay. First things first, yep. it's your week to, to name a fact. <laughs> I've been naming facts, guys. Hit me with a fact. Have you got a fact? You must have learned something, but we've been away for all this time, surely. All these people. It's not really related to me being away, okay. it's completely Go random. Hit me. Hit me. Did you know? Okay that all polar bears are left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> well, because straight away, they haven't even got hands. Well, they do. They've got paws. Yeah, but it's, you know. So it's, that's not... So they're left-pawed. You, you lied in it. They're, they're south-pawed. The... Oh. Thank you, Craig. Oh, what's, well, you got me a gift. I've got you a little present, oh, man. Um, bro. I've been away, I'm proud of you. Oh, uh, man. You know? But you know what? It's your birthday, so I got you a gift. Say rapping paper! Say rapping paper! Hey, great minds think alike! What's okay. the chances? <gasps> Twinkies, bro! I know you always wanted them. Why was you surprised? Huh? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm on a diet though, yeah, yeah? Oh my! Yes. yes. I'm even in there! <laughs> it's <nice>. not me. <laughs> who is that? It's not me. It's not, yes. I don't know who is that in the corner. <laughs> Rose, Danny Rose. Rose. Incredible! Thank you for that though. You bro, like love it. Appreciate it. I you love have, it. You can have one of my Twinkies. I love a Twinkie. Mate, save that. That'd be worth a lot in the future. I'm telling you, will. Mate. semi finalists and all that. Before, before we get into the show, before we do anything, obviously it was your birthday. Obviously, I know you're 28 now. You know, it's a milestone in your life. Amazing. Looking young as well. Um, how did you celebrate it, bro? I'll be honest with you, I worked. I okay. worked and always my working. work is always fun, but I still worked on that day. The boys and a few family come down on set where I was working. Um, but it went on too late, so I didn't really get to do much. Went, watched the boxing, yeah. but I'm not happy. What? Why are you not happy? Well, I'm not gonna put this out there because my life's out there anyway, but my family, my missus and kids, didn't do nothing for my birthday. Didn't do nothing, mate. But they knew you were working. 
It was Sunday. It was the next day. Uh, nothing was booked in. She has all my bookings. She could have. She could have done she something. Knows your, she knows your schedule. Yeah. She knows my schedule. She knows my bank account. She had. She had all the funds in the world to do something for me, bro. I'm, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm not happy, mate. After Aaron, you know, it could... No, I don't know, man. Listen, that's just me, man. I just thought this year, I thought I was just waiting. Even till today, this morning, I'm like, you, got, you know, there was it. There's it. Is it, is it I, just, I, said, I, said, I said, I'm going. Waiting by the door. Bye. Bye. That was it. I just walked out. You never know. Whatever. Still hang on to that hope. It might happen by your next birthday. So, so, so that's why, uh, yeah, that's my birthday, mate. Other than that, incredible. No. Oh. All right, so let's get in with one so second. <laughs> Mr. England, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what I do now. I read oh, the comments. I lead. Yeah, I'm just okay. Yeah, you, you, you can, you can. No, help, no, no, no. You're the guy now. Let's do this. Let's get in some comments, people. Jeez. Um, tabby cats. The tabby cats. Yeah. So you, it's you, the you forgot, it, No, it's the tabby cats. Yeah. It can be the tabby cats. I don't mind. Tab them. This is your show now. Tab them. Tab them. Tab, tab them. them. Tab All right. Um, first one comes from Mammy Dolphy. Yep. What's going on with Mitch? Is he gonna return to the show or has he quit for good? Hello. He was working, yo. I'm here. Living the dream. Nothing's going on. He's back. On. Yeah, he's back. I'm he's here. Back. I'm here. Um, Pedrick Doyle. Is Mitch coming back? Uh, Mitch and Yudin said uh, width and height. Steve <laughs> is crazy. So, width and height. So, I'm gonna D in it. So, so me and, obviously, me and Miles done the show last week and I said height. Yeah. Did you get height? You get width? No, you no, you get height, width and height, height. Um, next one's from Carlos Souza, um, Ezan Haddad. Steve's mind and mouth are not synchronized <laughs> when he gets excited. <laughs> Ezan Haddad. Is that what I said? Is that what you said? Ezan Probably. Haddad. I think so. That's Bruv, hilarious. You know what it is. Um, I'm excited. I get excited about certain things, especially when we're doing this show. And you know, I don't know. Well, you know, they don't know that. A lot of the time. I'm getting these things for the first time. I get excited, so I'm like, whoa! Then I have to start presenting, and it gets all mad. Oh, next one's from Spartan H. Colin Kazim's been at 14 teams in 14 seasons. Man's out here doing a world tour. Top guy. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's doing a world you know, tour you know, on the run. Mexico. He's got, he's yeah, got yeah the I, heard, I heard, yeah. Mental. Do you know what? Arguably, we could submit that for a Guinness World Record. No, no, teams. no, no, because I was watching for some reason it popped up and he was on there. Yeah. So, uh, uh, about people in football that have the strangest football careers. Yeah. So, Diara and they named other people. So, Colin was in the list, right? Oh, was he in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but there's a guy that has played for 29 teams and he's still playing now. He's 40, played for 29 teams. And not only that, wow. there's another guy that's played in every continent. It might be that guy. Played in every continent, played everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, Last one from Forever Red. What do you reckon? Man United or Liverpool? Um, what are you, bro? Let us know. The Reds are Liverpool, um, so I'll go to Liverpool. Hearing your shambolic pronunciation is flipping frustrate. Frustration. Say that quickly. Say it quickly. See if you can say that quickly. Hearing your shambolic pronunciation. Hearing your. Sh That's bad. That's terrible. Hearing your shambolic pronunciation is flipping frustrating. Well, okay, mate. You 2.1. Mug 2.1. Still going on about um, that. Bro, people. Listen, listen, listen. I need you, listen, stop everything. If there's any music playing, stop it. Yeah? Bro, I need you lot to understand, yeah? I'm not clever. I'm not clever at all, yeah? But I want people like me to see me and think, you know what? He can't read or speak, yeah? I can do this too. First one comes from Neil Jones. Mourinho asked if Sanchez looks unhappy. Um, Mourinho's response, look, do you want him to be very happy with the players he has around him? We are just here to, to survive and to have some not very ugly results. Alexis is the only striker we have, and the poor man is trying his best. <laughs> oh my. Now, Could I? do you remember when I said last year about um, Moyes needing to defend his players out in public? Yeah. Mourinho, for me, is the worst. And I'm going to use the word pagan. I swear down, because that is wow. the worst. Nah, bro. Def Look at the players around him. And he like, said, he said, he said we're here. Trying. He said we're in America on like a friendly international tour preseason. He said we're just trying to survive. He's playing games. It's not that deep. He's playing games, but your games are now just, they're getting beyond the joke, mate. Because the players, them players there, now, we've got the squad there. So Grant, Grant, by the way, 
Don't sign Grant and then start saying about look at the players around him. You signed a 1.5 million pound keeper for Manchester United. That don't make no sense. Grant's not bad, by the way. He's actually a decent keeper, but there yeah, you go. I was gonna say, granted, he's not that bad. <clears throat> That's not the worst team, Mourinho, man. What's he talking about? Do you know what it is? Look, here's, here's my thing with Mourinho. Go on. First of all, here it is, third season syndrome. We know about third season syndrome. Yep, yep. yep. TSS, that's what we call it with Mourinho. Um, he's entering his third season at Manchester United. Mm -hmm. He's known to collapse in his third yep. season, lose his marbles. I'm hoping that isn't the case because I'm probably one of the few human beings in the world that still likes the man. I still like him. For me, he symbolises greatness. Um, yeah, the football isn't great. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It is. If I was a Man United fan, I would be, you know, pulling my hair out watching the football they play. And I don't agree with the comments he's saying here. Like, you should come out, back your players, get no behind what, them, man. bro. No like, what? What are you doing? Like, you can't come out and say like we're just here to survive. Sanchez shouldn't be happy playing with these guys. Like, you're, you're, you're slating them. It's you're supposed ridiculous. to be building their confidence as a squad going into the season. However, I saw the rest of his comments. And at the end of the day, I kind of get when he's saying like, and Man United fans won't be happy with this because they feel like, you know, especially the ones in America, we don't get to see Man United often. We should pay to see our, our team. Mm -hmm. I get when he says, you know what, like, this isn't the deepest thing in the world. You know, if you, if if you want to go off and do other things, because he used the Chelsea, I think Chelsea were playing Fiorentina or someone. Can't remember who the Inter team Milan. was. Inter Milan. And, and basically, like, half the stadium was empty. And he was like, well, if, I, I get it. If people want to go and do, spend their holidays doing that instead of watching this. I kind of get it, but I think he just goes the wrong way about saying things. I think he's he not trying. I think he was trying to sort of protect Sanchez. It was, yeah. You know what I mean? But you, you can't throw Sanchez. other players under the bus that exactly. you like to park all so, the time. <laughs> I like, I like um, Mourinho. I still like him. Yeah. But what you said about third season syndrome yep. is right. But usually he does well, then he gets knocked down. He hasn't even done nothing yet. You know what I mean? For him to, for him, for him to. To fall, yeah, or to foul. Yeah, like I mean, I mean, that's what's crazy about it. This is pre-season. The season hasn't this. even started, mm -hmm. and you're doing it in pre-season over in America. I just feel like he's lost the plot. I don't, I don't think. I don't he's think he's been losing the plot, bro. I'm sorry, mate. Nah, he's know. trying to do his old way of thinking, his old Mourinho way, and it does not work in this day and age, bro. The players don't care. Mm. You, you can't get players scared anymore. Because you know why? They can. Go. They got a lot of power. They can the go. Power. Players, players have, have the power, power now. power now. When Mourinho was doing what Mourinho was doing, he had all the power. But I think I think what it is when I say greatness with Mourinho, yeah, going back to that, mm -hmm. I think it's more just to quote a, a wise man, a wise philosopher called Aubrey Graham. Drake. Yeah. <laughs> he said they, you know, they won't love you until you're gone, and even after the thing that comes after is moving on. So it's like I feel like with with Mourinho. People won't appreciate him. And when I say gone, I don't mean retired. Mm -hmm. I mean, until he's passed, touch wood, I don't think people really look at his career and go, one of the greatest managers ever. Because in the moment right now, the football is just like, Ugh, and it's just like his antics are like, whoa. I think we do, Craig, I think we do look at him. I know what you're saying, 100%, 100%. When, when they're gone, that's when we start respecting. Even yeah. with Scolzi, when he retired. Look at Wenger, the look at Wenger. They hated him as soon as he retired. It was Mercy Wenger. Like, but, if you look at Mourinho's career now, I don't know how long he's been managing or how long he's since the Porto time, but I'm saying the last six years, yeah, he's been dreadful. Five That's years. A strong word. Five years. A strong word. In his first season at Man United, he won three trophies. Oh, if yeah, you include yeah, Community yeah, Shield. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <coughs> By the way, like, even in his bad spells, he still wins things. He won something last season. Yeah, yeah. And and remember, I, I defended him. Yeah. Remember, I've been, I have, have. been defending him, and because I don't mind. Listen, you might not like football, you might want pretty football, but I don't mind someone that says what they're gonna do and they do it, I don't mind that, and he does that. And I always knew once he does get the players in the positions he needs, it will turn good. But there's more of this side of it, the, yeah. the away side, the criticizing players, Luke Shaw's and all of this, there's more of that that never had before. So I'm not on about his football really, I'm on about him as a man. I like know. As a man, I'm not well, liking him, man. Well, well, this is the thing, like speaking of him criticizing oh, players, look, the next post, from, is it Simon Peach you want to read out? Simon Peach, Woo. continuing with Mourinho fiasco. Mm. Matic arrived from the World Cup holiday, direct to surgery because something happened in the World Cup. Antonio Valencia comes from holiday. I think too much holiday for him. His condition was not good when he was back. Then injury and also go back. 
So Mourinho, oh, there's more, there's more, there's more, there's oh, more. Well, what else is he saying? Jose Mourinho not hiding his, so this is from Simon Peach. Yeah. Jose Mourinho not hiding his annoyance about Anthony Martial's absence in MUTV interview. Mourinho, he has the baby, and after the baby is born, beautiful baby, full of health, thank God, he should be here, and he's not here. So, Mourinho, continuing from the first post, mm -hmm. He's just going in and in and in on his players. I know, he's he's, he's being a bit of a hothead. Speaking Say of so. hot, I need to get this off. Bro, oh, hello. Yeah. Got the gun. Oh, no, you don't. Just, all I've got is a Guns N' Roses t-shirt. There ain't you no guns. Wait, here. man. What's happening, bro? It's not enough. I've been Mitch's. on the secret sauce. So, uh, secret listen, juice. it's Craig Mitch's secret shake. Secret sauce. Oh, sorry. That sounds mate. like something Scribs would make. So Scribs secret sauce. We did tell them, but you was giving the England players secret. No, sorry. Craig Mitch's secret shake, yeah? Secret shake, yeah? yeah. Oh, what? You've given the players what? Craig Mitch's secret shake. Oh, wow. So you just give it a swirl and then. Okay, okay, I just wanted to make sure. But Mourinho. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he's just continuing this. And for, for me, he has some points. Marshall, yep. you have your baby, you have the time off. The baby comes, beautiful baby, like he said, healthy baby. Get yourself back to work. And I was saying this to Miles the other day, the geezer, he got left out of the World Cup squad. You know what I should have seen on social media? But. Sprinting. Sprinting all day long, bro. Yeah, Hendo Bare was putting those up a lot. You know what I mean, yeah, bro? Yeah, I get that. Do you know he what? He doesn't no. want it enough. Yeah, but it's not even that. He, First of all, he doesn't want to be at Man United. Mm -hmm. He's already made it clear. He want to be a footballer, though. I know, no, but he's made it clear he wants to leave. So why should he then have to show up when Man United are trying to b block his progress of going to another club? Clearly, Spurs are interested. Apparently, Juve's in. I don't know. Well, maybe not, because they've got Ronaldo now. But there's other teams mm -hmm. interested. Man United aren't interested in his best interest, but they want him to come back straight away so that... You know, Mourinho can feel like he has more names on paper in this squad. Now listen, I can see what Mourinho is saying. You know, some players shouldn't be frolicking about in the sun in LA. They should mm -hmm. come and, you know, join join their, their, their pre-season tour. Yeah. But at the end of the day, bro, like, some of them had things to do. Like, it was a long World Cup. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Pogba played in a final. Like, some of these players ain't going to make it back in time. Like, you knew this before the World Cup that this was going to happen. And you're not the only team that's dealing with it. Spurs, loads of other teams have not got all of their like superstar players right, right now. But every other team is yep. not Manchester United. And we've said this, I've said this uh, re in a recent post last week, we were saying, has Man United lost their edge? Remember before, when I used to argue with you and I say yeah. to you, you used to go, well, Man United the sixth, eighth, and I say to you, they're still Man United, they're still a big club, and you would say one to the me, biggest. they're not the big club, no more. They're still one of the biggest, but they're not that club no more. And I would say, yes, they are still United, bro. I'm starting to think, they're not that united no more. No. And on that being said, right? Yeah. The players, especially captains like Valencia, you must come back and do better. You yeah. know what I mean? You've, you've, if you know you're, you haven't had the best season last year as a team, as a club, you've got to come back this year and be on it. That's what makes champions, mate. Anfield HQ, um, Klopp on Klein. I don't know if I can do a Klopp impression. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, he's he's sort size now. He's not Klopp's brethren. He's Southgate's guy. Yeah, nah, Klopp's my guy. But look, this is a Klopp. Klopp said on Klein, according to Anfield HQ. Uh, well, uh, uh, we have exchanged messages, and I've seen a picture. Uh, little Kleiny, the baby will keep him busy for a few days, and then uh, uh, you know, no, no, we will see. We'll start training again. All good. Uh, there are more important <laughs> things in life than uh, football, and babies are definitely uh, one of them. So totally opposite to Mourinho. Marine sa Mourinho saying the baby come out, he's got two <laughs> eyes, he's got a nose and a mouth. Get back to training. He's alive, get back yeah, to training. Yeah. Uh, Klopp, um, you know what? Oh, by the way, so. You know why that, wait, hold on, but you bro, know why that is? Because Mourinho said that. Oh, bro, because oh, Klein ain't starting. And I, Klein, dog, I love you, yeah? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, bro, you was on Love and Hip Hop. When, when, when Liverpool were mounting a Champions League challenge, he didn't know he was on Love and Hip Hop no. Miami. Doing what? He was on Love and Hip Hop Miami, and there was this guy on there, and he goes, I got my friend here, international soccer star, Nathaniel Kleine. <laughs> <laughs> and then he walks in, and then the woman just pars him off. The woman goes, get out of here or something. And then he walks, and then he gets parred out of Is the it? shop. Yeah, he got parred. Kleine, I, listen, it is what it is. You got parred on Love and Hip Hop, and that's why, Klopp's like, it's cool, take your time, because time. we got Let's Trent, headache. we got Robertson, we got guys, young guys that are coming through, they're hungry. I, I spent time with Trent. Trent is hungry. hungry. He wanted to start in the World Cup every game. He was raring to go. In training, he was trying hard. In that Liverpool team right now, there are a lot of starved, malnourished yes. individuals, and I yes. mean that in the best way possible. 
They want to play. They almost won the Champions League. They felt like Sergio Ramos karate kicked their best player and cost them that. He did. It was more judo. Yeah, judo chop. You know, judo of Conor McGregor whoosh, bro, bro, to the bro, ground. Bro, bro, bro. Can we not forget that Klein is decent, mate? Oh, and uh, before I know, and I know he wasn't he, saying he, that, no, but what good. I'm saying, let's think that maybe. He might get on it and he might mount a serious challenge. Yeah, but, not right but, then, but, then, but that's I know what, Trent's in our eyes and Trent's been doing excellent and we love the kid and he's a breath of fresh air. But put some respect on Klein. No, no, I'm I know Klein is a, a even though he didn't get pardoned. No, he's a he's a good footballer, but they did well without him. So mm. my whole point is Mourinho's saying, I need my key players back. If it was with all due respect, you know, take nothing for granted, Grant. Yeah. With a baby and stuff. Mourinho's gonna be like, oh, well, Grant, you know, we've been texting, you know, I told him, hey, Grant, the baby's good, oh, amazing. Here, I'll send you some diapers. I've been in America too long. I'll send you some nappies. <laughs> like, but obviously, with Clyde, it's like, you know, it's not one of his key players. If Salah or someone was there ages, you know, chilling, pictures in Jamaica like this, not to say Clyde is in Jamaica, <laughs> I don't know, with the baby in and out the pool dunking its head, yeah? I'm sure Klopp would be like, mm, bro, don't leave my WhatsApp on blue ticks. Get back here. So this next one's from AS English. Who's that? <laughs> oh, no idea. <laughs> They're verified though. Who isn't? Um, Real Madrid rule out Hazard set to land Isco key role. Wait, wait, wait. So let me wait. Okay, so let me get this straight, right? Hazard. Mm -hmm. Incredible World Cup in my opinion. Obviously, they didn't get over the line, but I think he played very well. Real Madrid were like, yeah, 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 you know, they just lost Ronaldo to Juventus. Uh, they need a key man. Um, so everyone was saying he's going to go with Hazard, you know. Naturally, him or Neymar, Hazard was the front runner. All of a sudden, Chelsea's new manager comes in. Hazard's now staying, and it's like, sorry, Real Madrid. The Real Madrid president and the people that do their... What's his name? Transfers. Um, Is it something Perez? Perez, yes. Yep. They watched our show, and they saw me bring up Hazard's faults and say that 10 dribbles in one game is just not the greatest thing ever. You know what I mean? Like everyone was getting excited, and oh, I know. 10 dribbles complete. It's not It's not great, because when I go in matches with you, you dribble all the time. All the time, bro. But this, this is what I'm saying, but I, I just forget all of that. <laughs> forget all of that. All I'm going to say is it's got nothing to do with his performances, bro. Scratch that out. 200 million. It's because they want 200 million for him. And as far as I'm concerned, the only person that's worth 200 million is Harry Kane. So we're going to stop that right there. Like Real Madrid probably said, you know what? Maybe last ditch bid for Harry Kane at the end of the window, 200 mil. We ain't got 200 mil for Harry Kane and 200 mil for Hazard. And we 200 mil for Mbappe. Because <laughs> that's what, what I'm saying, because yeah, there's a yeah. talk of them going back to well, the they, old Galacticos. They need someone because Ronaldo's gone, bro. They need someone. Like, well, yours, they're saying they won't give Isco that key exactly. role. Exactly. Isco is not. Isco is an incredible player. Go on. Incredible at dribbling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You touched my lip, man, but go on, it's cool. Yeah, well. He's he's, the, he's 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 sick. Isco is sick. Like he was doing some ridiculous so stuff. Why can't he be? The, the, why can't he then? Because he's he doesn't score enough goals. That's but the first thing. He doesn't he score to, enough he goals. He's probably he's what twenty four. I'm guessing max twenty four. Yeah. This is your chance. He looks now. like twenty nine, mate. He does. This is your chance now, though, Craigie. Spanish. It's like Kieran age, Trippier. Bro. Like years ago, I'm saying that uh, Walker's better than him. This, that, and the other. I'm looking at him now after that World Cup, and it's like. Either or, mate. Isn't what, he linked to Real Madrid? Do I don't know. Real Madrid linked to everyone right now. People step up, bro. Maybe like a scare. Mad team. I think on his day, I think on his day, Hazard could be worth 200 million. On his day, he'll bring the he'll he'll bring the shirt sales in. They'll make a lot of money off that. They'll be able to market it, make a lot of money off it. And for me, he'll perform. I don't think those La Liga players. They're such a passing league. Mm -hmm. When you get players that can dribble like Isco does, they they find it really difficult. So I think Hazard would have fun over there in La Liga. Like, he would literally run that, not run the league, because there's some great players over there, but he would have a great time over there, and I think he'd do really well. For me, if I'm Real Madrid, if they aren't planning a bid for another big player, like you said, like Mbappe or Kane, they should be spending that 200 million on, on Hazard, because what? They just got 100 mil off Ronaldo. SSL. So technically, you're only spending 100 mil. SSL. Asensio, baller as well. It's not going to play the role that Hazard plays, really, though. But someone's got to come in, like, there's, there's someone out there, there's players out there that can come in and do. For, you mean players they already have that can step up? For instance, for instance, now, people are going to think I'm wild at this, but please save this, yeah? But Jaden Sancho, now, Ola. not ready on them levels now, yeah. but you go and get him for 50 mil, two 50. years time. So for me, instead of looking at the one that's ready now, 200 million, there's players out. This is what scouting is about. This is your job. Yeah. Go and find the next but, one but, early. But, 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 bro, and I, I, I agree with you. 
That has never been Real Madrid. That's not always work out. That, but that's just never yeah. been Real Madrid. Why that's not change it? Boss. Why not because, go and create? You've got all the, uh, the, 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 I tell you why? the facilities and all of that to create these players. I'll tell you why. Go on. Three Champions Leagues in four years. Mm -hmm. So if it, ain't broke, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay. So for Real Madrid, their ethos has been, we go out, spend the big money on the biggest player of the last year, and we keep it moving. For me, they don't need to change that because that's how it's been working. Until the flipping tax man comes to them and figures out how they're doing this, because I had in debt and all kinds of stuff allegedly. 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 They, then they got to keep doing this framework because they can't be Barcelona. Who's Barcelona's got, like, what's it, La Masia, whatever it is. They got this whole infrastructure. Mm -hmm. They've been doing this for La years. Masia, yeah. yeah, they've been taking managers that were players and it's worked for them. You've got to really restart if you want to start doing that stuff. It's not as easy. Not everyone can go out and find a Deli Alley, you know, for five mil. And then it's difficult. Yeah, but the next step for that is, and you're right, well said there as well. I like, I like what you said there. But go and get the Deli Ali from the team that signed the Deli Ali for double or for quadruple. You. you know what I'm saying? They're at that level. That's what they used to do. Modric, all these players, Real Madrid used to go and bail. They used to go and get. Mm -hmm. So they'd let Tottenham go and buy Bale for three million. Then they'll give him the hundred. And it, I'm sorry. No, I hear you. That's what used to happen. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. And you used to do it to us. Uh, comes from Mel Sport, and they said Abramovich sails in to talk over Chelsea transfer bids. For Dortmund, Pulisic, and Juventus's ace Higuain. Wow. I'm not sure about Higuain. More Chelsea talk. I'm not sure about Higuain. What? What? Bruh. Bruh. I've never been, I've never been sure about him. I always thought that, bruh. Listen, he's one of them, bruh. He's one of them players that if he was fit, yeah, yeah like really, really on it, and he would be one of the greatest ever. Ever. That's how good. Look what he's doing when he's overweight, brother. You've got to think about first it. First of all, first of all, he's always been overweight. Exactly. I've never seen a trip. Exactly. That's called genetics, my friend. Mm. Talent wise, ability wise, oh, incredible. Like, you even saw it, like, Champions League last season, mm -hmm. Juventus were losing to Spurs, scored a sick goal. And he's then, got you know, that. they went on, Dabala scored another one, they went on and won. Like, I, I feel like Higuain is a great player. If Chelsea were to nail Pulisic and Higuain, for me, Bro, and if they keep Hazard, give him the captaincy. He did, he did a good job captain in um, Belgium. Some of the other players they got, they still got Kante. Absolute, and that's what you call an engine. Forget mm. Pellegrino, or Pellegrini, whatever his name is. No, he's the engineer, Craig. <laughs> Not the engine. <laughs> well, whatever. He thinks this is cars. Whatever. So the old guy from cars. If they could get rid of Kante, start playing man like Ruben mm -hmm. in there. Chelsea aren't, listen, Chelsea, this is one thing about Chelsea. Even when you write them off, like last season, let's be honest, let's call a spade a spade. They weren't great, they were trash. Mm -hmm. They still won a trophy, they still won okay. the FA Cup. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't have won the FA Cup in my opinion. Man United should have won that, but they won it. So this is Chelsea, they've built a, a built of a, a habit of winning silverware over there. They've built a culture of just winning. And I feel like next season, no one's really saying they're gonna win the title, but. So you made a good point there, saying that, um, <laughs> saying that no one's expecting Chelsea to win the league this year. That's the time you throw in youngsters. I when the expectation's not there, you put in You're right, you're right, you should put in your Do you know what, I love, you know what? the Football Union has gone from defending, you know, footballers that get abuse and stuff to the young person's Football Union. You know why? The youngsters you know why? Year, you, know? you know why? You've changed because your role. This, this is the year of the youngster. Jeez. But also though, it is, but also work for the youngsters. And I love you lot, you're swagging out, I see you with your chains, mm -hmm. I'm going to Seattle Gold, big up you man. Get out of Libertine, get out of tape. Yeah. You can't be in there every week. Yeah. Like you guys are screaming you want these opportunities and you want to go to the next level. But I'll be honest, I don't see a lot of them foreign footballers in those yeah. in those vicinities. That's true. And they're here, they're over here. And I'm not saying, and listen, I I, lo I want them to be a part of the culture. I love seeing, you know, the music culture and all that, and then being able to express themselves like they do in America. But do that for when you are established. Yes. Then you can do you're trying to get your way in now. Just, you know, you know, like. You know, just lay off the hair dye a bit, you know, yeah. and just get in there and start balling because you've not got the potential. All right, so it is challenge. Every moment I spend with you is a moment I'll treasure forever and ever. I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep because I miss you, Craig. And I don't want to miss a thing because even when I dream of you, the sweetest dream will never do. I still miss you, Steve-O, <laughs> and I don't want to miss a thing. Wow. 
I thought I'd come in with that, and I'm glad you joined in. I'm never. glad you knew the words to that, because it's obviously it's a yeah, mystery song and yeah, I miss all of that. Well, man. It was like raining Armageddon in my world until oh, it's the Armageddon song, until it? came back. The big lip guy. Yeah, Steve Tyler. All right, guys, so it is challenge time. We are back with a challenge time. Well, I'm back with a challenge time. And uh, to ease me back in. So one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just going to pretend like we just didn't sing into each other's eyes there. We've just, that, that hey, is too hey, strange hey, for us hey, to hey, continue. We gazed. Guys. into each other's eyes. All right, but listen, to make it a bit easier for me, to warm me back in, we're gonna do a Premier League focused quiz. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. So for this week's challenge, we're gonna be tested on our knowledge of the top appearance makers per country, per club, in the most entertaining league in the world of football. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. For real? For Did real, for change real. it? Nope. For real, for real, I got ya. All right, I'm gonna ask you first. Oh, let's go then. All right, you ready? Music. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm slow. I forgot. Go All right, cool. You ready? Steve-O, which French player has made the most appearances in the Premier League for Manchester United? Ten. Patrice Evra. Nine. Craigie. Yes. Which Danish player has made the most appearances in Premier League history for Manchester United? Five, four, three. Peach Michael. Yeah. Good. Now my mind went. Fire. No, no, my mind went blank, bro. What did you? I'm getting used to this. All right, you ready? Yeah. Which Brazilian player has made the most appearances in the Premier League for Liverpool? Ten. Lucas. Nine. Craig. Yes. Which Spanish player has made the most appearances in the Premier League for Liverpool? There's been loads. Oh, but there's one that springs to mind. Ten. Nine. Pepe Reina. Two two. Two two. Whoa. Two two. All right. Which French player has made the most appearances in the Premier League for Arsenal? Oh, there's been a lot. That's tough. All right. Henri. Patrick Vieira. Come on, man. Leader. Craig. Which English player has made the most appearances in the Premier League for Arsenal? Oh, there's been a few, man. 10, 9, 8. David Seaman. Craig. Go on. Ray Parler. Oh, Ray. Yeah. Ray Three, Ramon. 323 appearances. 2-2. Two, two. Don't touch me. Because I like touching. Don't touch me. Which Nigerian player has made the most appearances in the Premier League for oh. Chelsea? 10. Ooh. Nine. One sec. Eight. Yeah. Seven. Jordan Obi Mikel. Six. Three, two, two. One. Craig. Yes. If you do not get this, I win, by the way. Oh, God, I can't remember the L. Which Serbian player has made the most appearances in the Premier League for Chelsea? Ten. Nine. Nemanja Matic. No. Ivanovic. <laughs> yes, Ivanovic. Ivan. Unlucky, bro. Ah. Yeah. Valiant effort. Valiant effort, you know Ivanovic, what I mean? that threw me off. It takes your mind. Forgot about it. He was a good player as well. He was decent, solid. For one, decent. At one stage, he was best right back in the league. Easy, yes, he was. Best. One stage. Yeah, I'll give you that. One stage, he was, man. So that's it. You're doing the outro. I was going to say, who does the outro? You do the outro. This is your show. Well, people, that is the end of the show. Welcome back, Craig, man. It's been good having you back, man. As I say, I don't, want, I don't ever want to take away from the boys. No, no, no. no work great, lads. But this feels home. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, it was good. It was I do good. have to say to you, why didn't you bring the World Cup home? You let me down, man. You I let wanted me down. To, I told Gav to sub me on, but you know, he wouldn't let me get what out What position would you have come on? Uh, I would have played wing back, left wing back. Oh. Sorry, Ash. Oh, wow, Ash. But people, if you enjoyed the show, leave a like, leave a comment, get involved with what we talk about, all the topics, get involved. Is Hazard world class? Is he a Galactico? Obviously, he's world he class. Be, is he a Galactico? Be a Galactico? Hit the notification button so do you that. know when we come, subscribe. And yeah, man. Handshake. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, that was slick! <laughs> <laughs>